Hi friends, it's Allison here from nicepeoplestamp.com. I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day. I have a really fun project to share with you and I'm just gonna jump right into creating it with you because I think you're really gonna love it. So here is the super cute project we're going to be making together today. It is a pop-up box card and you can even fold it flat for mailing. So this is a super fun card to create and we're using some really fun stuff. So let's jump in. So this week when you shop in my online store as part of my April showers promotion, you can get these three gifts. So how it works is you'll place an order at shopnicepeoplestamp.com using the weekly host code. With a $50 order, I'll send you a pack of these cute mini shipping boxes. With a $100 order, I will add the washi tape so you'll get the boxes and the washi tape. And with a $150 order, I'll add the Bermuda Bay mini striped ribbon so you'll get the ribbon, the washi, and the boxes with a $150 order using the weekly host code. We're going to use all of these products in making our project today. So we are going to go ahead and get crafty. So here is one of our mini shipping boxes. And as you can see, it has this bottom flap because of course, normally it makes a little box. But what you wanna do is you just want to cut all along that bottom edge. So you can use your scissors or a paper trimmer and you're just gonna make the bottom of your box completely flat. So there will be nothing on the bottom. Okay, and you'll just have the flaps on top. So when you go to put this together, you'll just fold on all the score lines. You'll fold the top of the box open. And we already have the base for our cute card. And of course, it can fold completely flat. We're going to add in some crossbar pieces so we can have the cute little things popping out of the box and to do that I've just cut some basic black cardstock. I have two strips here that are six inches by one inch and they've been scored at one inch and five inches and then I have one more strip here that's five inches by one inch scored at half an inch and four and a half inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this smaller one and we're just going to fold on the score lines. Okay. And that piece is going to go in here at the very back. So the back part of these tabs will be touching the back of our box. Okay. So I'm just going to get myself a couple of glue dots. I really like to use glue dots for a project like this. They stick really well and it's not a lot of fuss with you know, wet glue or anything like that. So I've just put two glue dots on each one of my tabs. And I'm just gonna pop this inside my box. You wanna have your little bar a little bit down from the opening of the box. So it kind of hides in there. And we have our first bar in place, okay? So that is our first step. And again, because we have those score lines in there, our box still folds flat. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the next two. And we have our score lines folded, add a couple of glue dots. There's one and two, and then a couple on the other side, okay. And now we're going to just add that bar and we're going to butt it up against the first bar, okay? And it's, just remember that this doesn't have to be completely perfect. It is the inside, no one's really gonna see it and it's definitely not the focal part of our project as we are making just the cutest pop-up card or pop-up box card, if you will, so. There we go, and again, still folds flat, right? Okay, and then our last one here. Add a couple of glue dots. And we'll put that one inside up against the one previous. So 
So there will be a little bit of a gap at the front because we don't want our bar to go right up against the front of the box. There'll be a little gap at the front right there, okay? So there is all of our support pieces in place. And now we can go ahead and make all of the little items that are going to be inside our little shipping box. So for this project, I'm using the It Starts With Art bundle. This is the perfect bundle for any craft lover. So we are going to stamp and color some of these images and then die cut them to have them pop out of the box. So let's start by making this cute little card of buttons. So to start that one off, I've got a piece of my thick whisper white cardstock, and this is two and a quarter by one and three quarters. I'm going to stamp using my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. That is the ink I'll be using for all of my stamping. And I just have this stamp here that says, follow your art. And I'm just going to stamp that right along the top. Then I'll go ahead and grab my button stamp. And I'm going to stamp one approximately in the middle and then one on each side. There we go. So we want to make our little let's stay up late and craft sign that's right in the very front. So for that one, I have a piece of my thick whisper white cardstock and this is one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And I'm going to use, of course, my same ink pad and my stamp that says, let's stay up late and craft. Now I brought in a larger piece of my thick whisper white cardstock, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp some of my remaining pieces that I need. So I've got this really cute spool of ribbons, or several spools of ribbons, I should say. How cute, and with the little heart, I love that. We've also got the paper clip. There we go. We're gonna die cut these, so don't worry if they're not straight. We've got our little re-inker bottle, and we need two of those. And then we've also got this stack of pens and markers, and we will ink those up and stamp those down. So let's put that aside to dry before we go ahead and color. So I've got a scrap of my Bermuda Bay cardstock and I'm just going to ink up my stamp that makes a little, almost like a spool of ribbon so we can add that onto our card as well. So that's all our stamping done and now we can go ahead and start coloring. So I brought in some of my Stampin' Blends markers. I have the Bermuda Bay combo, the Calypso Coral combo, and the Mango Melody combo. And that's what we're going to use to color all of our images. Let's start with our little card of buttons. And our buttons today are going to be this fun yellow. So with all of the Stampin' Blends markers, I like to start with my darkest color first. And in this case, that's the dark Mango Melody. And I go ahead and add the dark sections to my project. And then after that, I'll go ahead and add the light marker. So the really great thing about the Stampin' Blends markers is that they're alcohol-based markers, which means the colors will blend with each other. So you can create light to dark seamlessly without having any marker lines. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on some of these images here today. So these are some really great markers to add to your collection you'll find that you just reach for them time and time again, whether you're doing these shading techniques or just coloring in general. So I've got all of my dark colored marker in. Now I'm gonna take my light Mango Melody and go back and add that into my button. So where the two colors meet, I want to use a back and forth motion or a circular motion to help blend those two colors together. So there's no harsh line between the light and the dark color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend on this one and then I'm going to just color this one straight up, no blending so you can see what I mean. I can always go back in and blend it after. Okay, 
So with this one, you can see that there's no real line between our light and our dark color. It just seamlessly moves from the dark to the light. And with this one, you can see that harsh line in between the two colors. So to fix that, all I'm gonna do is go ahead and do my back and forth motion or my little swirl and those colors will blend together. So these are such fun markers to play with. Again, they blend so easily and you are going to love them. All right, so we're just finishing up our last button here. So I'm going to use the same technique to go ahead and color the rest of the images on my piece of cardstock here. All right, so I've gone ahead and finished all of my coloring, and now it's time to bring in our dies and do some die cutting. All right, so I've got my die cutting machine here, and I'm just going to put in my gorgeously colored images and cut them out with the corresponding dies. So you wanna make sure you line up your images with your dies well so you're not miscutting them. And with images this detailed that I've spent this much time to color, I usually only cut one at a time. All right, now it's time to go ahead and assemble our card. We do want to complete a few of these pieces and we're going to start with this fun little piece to create a little spool of ribbon. So this is that striped ribbon. We'll just put a glue dot on one end put it on the back side, and then I'm just going to wrap it around my spool three times, Let me just move that over, to cover up that middle section, okay? Then I'll take my paper snips and remove it from our big roll, and then I'll just use another glue dot to secure our end. There we go. And that will secure right onto the back there. So we've got this cute little spool for our ribbon, but now I wanna go ahead and add a bow to that. So I'm just going to add myself a cute little bow. There we go. Okay, so we can put that bow onto our spool with another glue dot, just like that. That's gonna be so cute popping out of our little card. We also want to add some of that washi tape to our button card here. So I'm just going to put the washi tape right along the very bottom, just like that. And that, what I'm gonna do is just cut the excess off from the back side. And then I thought it would be super cute to use one of the other rolls that had the Stampin' Up! logo, and we're gonna add a logo to our buttons. So I just cut off one of the logos, and then I just cut right around the edge. And it doesn't have to be totally perfect, just do the best you can. The washi tape is super easy to cut though, so it's not hard at all. So because it's washi tape, it's already sticky. So we can add that to our little buttons and we'll just put that right down there. Isn't that cute? A little card of buttons, even branded with the Stampin' Up! logo. So the last piece we wanna do before we start putting things inside of our little box is I want to add the paper clip to the top of my sentiment. So I'm just gonna bring in a little bit of my multi-purpose liquid glue, put just a dab in that top corner there, 
and add on my paper clip just like that and now we have all the pieces ready to go so how i add these into my little box is it's going to be hard to see these on the video but i've got some pieces of the window sheets maybe if i there we go can you see those i've got six of them that are two inches by half an inch and then i've got one that is two inches by a quarter of an inch. And this one we're gonna save for our marker, but the rest of them, the half inch ones, are for the rest of our pieces. So again, the easiest way here is to use our glue dots. I just have one of my window sheets. I'm going to stick a glue dot on the very top and I'm going to add it in and I'm putting it on the back bar here. Remember the front has the gap with no black along the edge and the back, the black goes to the very back. So we'll just put in, there we go. So we've got one of our little stands. I hope you can see that, the window sheet right inside. So I'm just sticking them to that black piece and then I'll take my buttons. I've just put a glue dot on the back and I'll stick that to my little stand. And now we have our first little piece. And again, still folds flat because of course we wanna mail this gorgeous card in the end. So let's go ahead and add the rest of our pieces. And there you have it. There is our absolutely gorgeous pop-up shipping box card and it can fold flat and go straight into an envelope. You may wanna make a custom size to fit this great card. And it's just such a fun card to send to a friend, a fellow crafter, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me today for a fun crafting session. Don't forget to get your order into my online store at shop nicepeoplestamp.com so you can get those three products I shared with you in the video for free with your order. Remember, they are cumulative. So if you put in an order of $150, you'll get all three. If you put in an order of $100, you'll get the first two. And if you put in an order of $50, you'll get the first one. So that's the boxes, the washi tape, and the ribbon. So very, very exciting. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on the crafting fun. So click the subscribe button and then click on the little bell to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of the crafty fun here on the Nice People Stamp YouTube channel. Again, thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to place your order in my online store at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. Bye!